William, Prince of Wales, appears to speak about the sudden loss of his late mother, Princess Diana, during a candid conversation about mental health. Both William and his wife, the Princess of Wales, have spoken about the importance of mental health for a special recorded show for BBC Radio 1's Newsbeat. The royal couple led a discussion for World Mental Health Day on Monday for a special programme which will be aired on BBC Radio 1, Radio 1 Extra and the Asian News Network on Tuesday afternoon. In a clip released ahead of the broadcast, the pair speaks about young people's mental health with Newsbeat presenter Pryor Rai and a host of advocates and experts. In addition to referring to the death of his mother, Princess Diana, in 1997, William also seems to allude to his strained relationship with his brother Prince Harry as he talked about the importance of having family around you and supporting you through tough times. The Prince said, Big family networks and support networks around people are really important, but a lot of people don't realise what they need until it actually comes along. You can be living one life one minute and something massively changes and you realise you didn't necessarily have the tools or the experience to be able to tackle that. And in it, William also talked about how suddenly life can change, leaving people in need of support. He says... I like a lot of the work we've done on mental health and listening to lots of people talk about is everyone likes a toolbox, particularly for men. A toolbox <laughs> is quite a useful um, analogy to kind of use. A lot of people don't realise what they need until it actually comes along. You can be living one life one minute and something massively changes and you realise you don't necessarily have the tools or the experience to be able to tackle that. Dr Abigail Miranda, an educational and child psychologist working in early years, replied, To have, I suppose, in your toolbox, communication would be key and I suppose some of the myth-busting as well around attachment. We know now, though, through studies that actually any parent who spends a significant amount of time or any caregiver with a child will also form similar attachments and have those similar patterns as well. Catherine said she would love to know how the contributors look after their own mental health. Antonio Ferreira, a mental health activist who was diagnosed with indifferentiated schizophrenia and emotionally unstable personality disorder as a teenager, replies... That's a big question. Um, I know not every day is going to be roses and sunflowers. You know, I know some days I'm going to have to push against the clouds to see that sun again. And, you know, I know that, you know, when you have a bad day, it doesn't mean it will be a bad week or a bad month. Oh, it was a big question. That. Sorry. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's, there's no right or wrong. That's the thing as well. Different things will work for different people. Ben Cowley, a music therapist and assistant mental health advisor for the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, and Emma Hardwell, a youth participation officer at The Mix, which offers mental health support to under-25s, also took part in the discussion. Alid Hayden-Jones, head of BBC Radio 1, said, What was discussed today will resonate with so many of our listeners and it means so much to us. We can all work together to help tackle the stigma around this issue. While presenter Priya added, People not only switch us on to get the news, but to share openly and frankly how they are feeling. That's humbling, to be a trusted part of people's lives, enough that they can send us a text about feeling lonely or having lost a loved one. We have total strangers speaking to each other on the radio who soon feel like familiar friends and that's a really important, uplifting part of what we do.